Hello everyone, it's Allie from Titan and welcome back to our channel. I am here with a very special opening and before anyone asks, I do not believe any of these singles would be available for sale, but we do have an incredible opening here of actually a box of baseball cards that is 14 years older than me. We do have a full, complete, certified, sealed, and unsearched box of 1983 Fleer Baseball. This is certified by Baseball Card Exchange. Uh, but actually, Boss Man and one of his friends decided they wanted to buy a couple boxes. Uh, the friend is Katie Cards. It's a gentleman and his son. They do have a Facebook page, so this is kind of like a partnership here between Boss Man and Katie Cards. I'll go ahead and put their link in the description down below if you'd like to go check them out. Uh, but they did get a couple boxes, and they decided they wanted me to open one here on camera. Now, I think Boss Man might have mentioned... Uh, this was a couple days ago when he was telling me about it. They might be sending off some of the singles to PSA, get them graded just depending on how they look. Uh, but hopefully I work my magic here and pull some very nice cards. Now there are some really cool rookies in this set. You can get Wade Boggs, Ryan Sandberg, Tony Gwynn. There's also a lot of names here for me to sleeve and top load. Bossman did write me a little cheat sheet because I'm not 100% familiar with the set. Of course, I've never opened it before. Uh, but they're actually all names that I do recognize, so I think I would have survived on my own if he didn't give me that little note there. But I will go ahead and sleeve up all those names that I have here uh, before you guys are like, Allie, you needed to sleeve that Cal Ripken card. Be like, I know, I know. But yes, this is very cool. It's odd to be opening up something. I was actually snooping a little bit on eBay. It seems like there's one box on auction right now. That's at like two fifty five dollars with a couple days to go. I saw one at Buy It Now for $7.99, some around the three dollars to $400 range. Uh, so this is very exciting to check it out. And let's just go on ahead and get on into it. Unopened 1983 Fleer Baseball. You guys have been asking for older wax openings. Here we go. Let's get on into it. Bye. Snap on us into the corner, and I just wanted to check because I did start over. I stumbled on my intro. We are recording. It'd be horrible to not be recording this video. Uh, but I am opening up on the EV playmat, and I'm wearing a Pokemon shirt. Uh, today was supposed to be the release of Shining Fates. Um, Shining Fates, along with the majority of our products we were supposed to be getting in this week, are, are not here just because... Uh, most of our product does come from Southern Hobby's Nashville Warehouse, which is snowed in. We're expecting to get things like Star Wars Signature Series, the Cup Hockey, some more certified basketball, which we actually did have a little bit delivered today. More will be coming next week. We expect that on Tuesday or Wednesday. Uh, but I do have a special Pokemon-themed opening for you guys coming up, as well as a box of certified basketball. Anyways, let's get on into this baseball. I wanted to start off with this one because this is, in my opinion, the coolest. The Pokemon opening later is kind of weird. Um, I tried to find, and by try, I mean I walked into a Target, I'm not expecting anything, and walked out empty-handed, but um, I do have two McDonald's packs and also two of the cereal boxes with promos in them, so we're going to do like a little taste test video, it's going to be weird, but anyways. So that's like a non-content content video, and then Boss Man dropped this off along with the certified basketball, so this, it feels weird to open, I feel like I'm ruining it, which I am, but whatever. I'm ruining it! Here we go. Let's open it. This is crazy. 1983 Fleer. So there are 36 packs in here. Mr. Retailer, two free packs inside. So I guess we have two bonus packs. Do have Phil Necro on the side. I do recognize that name. Unfortunately, do not recognize the others. Uh, there's Ricky Henderson. Two photos on every card, by the way, you guys. Gary Carter. That's cool. Expos card. Is that on the list? All right, that's not on the list, so if we find one, I'm stealing it from my mom because she's a big Expos fan. Don't tell Boss Man, although he'll probably watch this video. I can't actually steal anything, but I'll ask nicely. Anyways, let's pop this open here. It does have a little... I was looking if there's a little punch out. There is. That's cool. Well, there's our two extra packs right at the top. And this box is a bit squished up, but the packs are looking all right. One sticker and 15 cards. Again, two photos on each card. Let's get on into pack number one. Oh, interesting. These remind me of like gum packs. Collect all 660 cards. Here we go. Pack number one. This is pretty odd. Pretty odd indeed. Opening. I hope you guys enjoy it. If you'd like to see more stuff like this from me, don't forget to go on ahead and hit that like button. It lets me know that you guys are enjoying the content. And stuff like this in particular is what you'd like to see. Now, I want to make sure I open this without damaging anything. All right, it did seem to be stuck there a little bit, but it is okay now. We have a little Orioles sticker. That's cool. Team facts on the back. Let's learn. Let's learn some facts. Look at that little miscut card there. It's cute, though. 1982 home stats. Let's make a sticker pile. All right, here we go. Let's look at these pack fresh 1983 cards. These have an odd texture to them. 
I'm going to say, though, they do remind me. Obviously, that's the point. They do feel like heritage cards. Let me see. Are you on the list, Mr. Carlton Fisk? I don't believe so. Steve Carlton is, though. Carlton. But those are the ones Boss Man specifically requested I top load and sleeve. I'll read off the list to you guys, and you can let me know in the comment section whether you agree or disagree with Boss Man's list. We have Phil Necro, Nolan Ryan, Ricky Henderson, Wade Boggs, Ryan Sandberg, Tony Gwynn, Robin Yount, Tom Seaver, Steve Carlton, Eddie Murray, Cal Ripken, Mike Schmidt, Pete Rose, and George Brett. That, will, that is my list here. And of course, if I miss anybody, feel free to yell at me in the comments down below. All right, so pack number one, we didn't find anybody we were looking for. Still very cool. Oh, look, we have a little hat sticker. That's cute. Little cubs. These are really cool cards to look at, though. I don't know what compelled Boxman and... Katie cards to search for 1983 Fleer. But you know what? I'm not going to complain about having a fun opening. Especially since you guys have been asking more and more frequently about old wax rips. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Cubs sticker. And there's an Expos card here. Jeff Reardon. There's the little Royals logo and hat sticker. These stickers are cute. I do like them a lot. It'd be cool if like Tops or somebody did those for like an insert set. I know they'll do actually stickers for like Star Wars products, but not so much baseball, unless it's retail. Retail usually gets the stickers. It's cool seeing these Expos cards and not having them be like retro they're actually current for the time of course my mom is from montreal i know a lot of you guys have asked if i'm canadian technically yes and my mom was born in montreal so she is a big expos fan i do have the little catch the fever thing which is also older than me not quite as old as these flare cards but that is from 93 that one's just four years older than me now, i know some of you guys get up in arms every time i say it but i'm just trying to put things into perspective oh look at that old mariners logo that's cool I like it. I like it. The hat stickers are super cute. Really do like them. All right. We're a couple packs in and we have yet to find anybody on the list. Although it is a 660 card set, which is very large. That's like the combination of series one, series two and update currently just all in one set actually interestingly enough upper deck did announce they're doing update series hockey it's not called update series but that that's what it is based on the description it's called extended series so 2021 extended series hockey we already went ahead and ordered several cases of that pirate sticker hat sticker you know, it's cool they the, the description for the product was that a unique season like the 2021 season requires a unique product. It's actually going to have new young guns and stuff as well, which are the rookie cards for hockey. Uh, so they are doing update. Extended series instead of actual update series. But it says it extends from series one and series two hockey. So that's very exciting. I wonder if it does well, if they'll keep that. Usually hockey, Upper Neck does their like update young guns and whatnot in SP Authentic. But they're making their own little... I guess, well, there's a lot to cover, lots of trades and everything. There's the old little Reds logo. Hey, Nolan Ryan for the Astros. That's a nice looking card. Very crisp as well. Of course, they're going to be crisp. They're pack fresh. It seems to be nicely centered, too. I mean, I'm not good with the uh, 
centering. It does look like it is pretty centered, at least on the back. The front, I can see it being a little bit off towards the right, but still a very nice card. Uh, definitely much more nicely centered than the stickers we've been looking at. And that's cool. Let me get that Nolan Ryan all sleeved up. Our first sleeve card here of the box. There's actually other names as well that I recognize, like the Dave Winfield. And some others that I've slowed down a bit on. I'm like, hey, I've seen these. Especially in like the throwback photo variations for, you know, regular Series 1, Series 2 baseball. Carlton Fisk. This was, he was, I think. No, Steve Carlton. Ah, again. Faked out by the Carlton. We did see him earlier. Yes, now I remember. I had the exact same reaction the first time. Hashtag Ellie Goldfish strikes again. I'm really enjoying opening these up, though. At first, I was like, ah, I'm going to feel bad. This box is, like I said, older than me. Basically, two-thirds of my lifespan older than me. We have a Mets logo here. And I'm like, I am obliterating these packs. Someone kept these packs sealed. And I'm just like, nah, man, we open it today. But this is actually really fun. I'm having a good time. Having a good time. So I hope you are as well. I like all these Expos cards. Unfortunate that they are not actually only boss mans. Because if they were only boss man, hang on. I just smile nicely and be like, please, can I has Expos? And usually the answer is yes. Especially when it's like commons. Like, that's how I have most of my hockey collection now. I used to actually just buy a lot of retail just for fun. Uh, now I just, whenever we open something that I like, I'm just like, can I have this? And boss man's like, yeah. Sometimes I do have to pay for it. Like, obviously, that Carey Price mini auto at a 15 that we pulled out of Chronology. And by we, I mean I pulled it out of Chronology. And I, of course, had to pay for that. But if it's like base cards, it's like, wow, we're going to sell it for five cents. Woo. So. That is usually what I mean by it when I say I'm stealing things. I do ask for permission to steal it, but it is free. I know most of you do get my humor, but I've had comments before be like, Allie, how can you do that? Be like, bruh, it's a joke. All right, looks like I grabbed both of the bonus packs here. Ooh, this one looks like, ooh, the air. The air has been leaking out of this pack for years. We have the socks. Which one? I'm not certain. Because there is red and white on this card. Are you red socks or white socks? Chicago white socks. All right. Thank you. Let me know in the comments which you which sticker you prefer. I mean, I really like both. I, I, do, I do pick the hat here for my preference just because I just the hats are cute. Uh, but I do like the logo stickers as well. But I'm curious. Hey, we have Pete Rose. That's cool. Again, does look to be, I think all these cards maybe are more so off towards the right. Oh. Good thing we're not looking for Terry Harper cards. That card is misprinted. Slash. I was going to say damaged because it looks like it's like scratched, but it's not. It's a clean surface, so it is just a printing error. But we do have this Pete Rose here. Not as nicely centered as the Ryan, but still pretty cool here. Philly's first baseman, card number 171. It's so crazy to look at these numbers. Born 41441. Well, nowadays I look at cards and I see young people younger than me. Like Juan Soto is exactly one year younger than me. We're both born on October 25th, although he is 1998. And it's awkward because I remember when I, Noogie first told me and I looked and I was like, oh, he's born in 98. It's a weird feeling. I'm like, man, if I was a dude that was good at baseball, maybe I could be as successful. <laughs> Instead, I'm here. I'm looking at the cards of the people that are actually doing well for themselves. But hey, you know what? I'm having a good time. So that's all that matters. I have a feeling this could be a very long video, purely on the fact that I don't think I've made a dent in this box whatsoever. Which is good. You want the cards to be mint condition. Ha ha ha. But no, actually going through the packs. I'm trying to be extra careful. You know, today is not the day for the hashtag Alley Oils. We have a little Phillies hat sticker. It is not the day for Alley Oils. That's cool. Reggie Jackson. Looks like an insert or something. Speed and Power. Super Special Star. 645. Hmm. Not seeing him on my list, so I'll keep going here. But that's an interestingly designed card. Oh, it looks like. Oh. Ah, so we got like a little puzzle card here. That's cool. Speed and Power. 
Let me finish off this pack. And let's put these cards together. That looks cool. We have Ricky Henderson and Reggie Jackson. I like that. I like that a lot. That looks really cool. I'm going to sleeve up. I mean, I do have Ricky Henderson on the list here. I know it's not a base Ricky Henderson, but I'm going to sleeve and top load. And I will actually do the Reggie Jackson as well. Executive decision here just because I like the puzzle. I'm going to put them here on Evie's face and we can look at them for the rest of the opening. Except not because my hands are in the way, but you know what? They're there. I like that. I love like when Tops does, especially for Star Wars, because that's primarily what I collect from Tops. And they do like the nine card image puzzles. I just, I don't know, that's, I just like it. I think it's really cool. So I really, I'm a big fan of that. That looks really nice. I will be honest with you guys, the first time I opened the pack, I was like stressed out. I was like, ah, what is on the back? I thought it was like a glue stain, which actually I should be looking at the other ones as well. Which it's not, but I just thought just because of where I'm opening the packs, I'm like, oh no, all these cards on the back are damaged. But it actually is just the design. We have Mariner sticker. Let's go next pack. Oh, that's a cool one. And that's a different kind of sticker than we've seen. The little pirates. It's like a little flag. So that actually, I believe, is probably a logo one here, just based on the design. But I'm actually going to give it its own pile, just in case we see more like it. I'm trying to keep them a little bit separate. Not that it matters too, too much. Maybe we have a checklist card. That's kind of cool. Hey, more checklists. Ozzy Smith, were you on the list? Don't see Ozzy Smith on the list. Really stargel. Be nice if we could get some of the rookie cards out of here. Like I mentioned, I think initially before I just read off the whole list, the rookies were looking for Tony Gwynn, Sandberg, and Boggs. You an angel's hat. It's the casual upside down card. Hey, look, we do have a Tony Gwynn here, rookie for the Padres. Crazy to say that, but that is really cool. Card number 360. Did you know the first ever Padre batter was Raphael Robles? He led off the bottom of the first against Houston April 8th, 1969 and reached base safely when second baseman Joe Morgan booted his ground ball. Interesting. That is cool. We have a Tony Gwynn rookie. Nice centering on the front. The back does seem to be a little bit off to the right once again. So these are really nice. I'm actually impressed. The box isn't in the greatest shape. Obviously, it's not the worst condition box I've ever seen. Uh, but everything so far has had crisp corners. Knock on wood that that trend continues. But I'm very impressed with the condition of these old cards. Dennis Eckersley with the mustache. And it's so weird that cards that are now almost 40 years old, 1983, almost 40, you know, that it's not even considered vintage. <laughs> It's going to be weird as we go forward. It's like, eh, stuff from the 80s, 90s, that's not too long ago. But when you actually think about how actual long it is, it's pretty nuts. Hey, there's another another one of those stickers. Good thing I made a pile. We got the little Brewer's Catcher's Mitt there. I think in a little while I will move this stack of base behind me because it is getting pretty tall. That way we have more room for the rest of these openings. The rest of these packs, commons, etc. Blue Jay sticker. Blue Jays are much cuter than they actually are in real life. Like, Blue Jays are very hateful. They're very rude. They're very mean. 
Uh, I used to have. I know some of you guys have been here on the channel for a while. Ask every now and then. There's another one of those Ricky Hendersons. I did see we passed that Reggie Jackson earlier. But I'll pull out the Henderson as well. I did have a rabbit, just a wild rabbit that would live in my backyard. Uh, who There's like an adult rabbit that sometimes my mom will see at night when she's taking out the trash. And so we think it's Peter. That's what I named the rabbit. Because, I mean, what else are you going to name a rabbit if you don't name your rabbit Peter, right? Uh, but one day I actually ran out into the backyard because there's a window in my kitchen that looks out the back. And there were like three blue jays, like just swooping down and like make a lot of noise and like terrorizing Peter. And I was like, bruh, y'all need to leave. So I actually went out there and chased them away because I was afraid they were going to like eat him. Because this is when he was like super, super small. So he's like, it was so tiny. Like actually, I did post this. One of my first ever posts on my Instagram, link down below if anyone cares, uh, is in the bushes. I found him and you could see his little eye peeking out. He was like maybe the size of my fist. I'm like, I'm not letting my baby get eaten by Blue Jays. And then from then on, I told one of my friends and they're like, yeah, Blue Jays are actually just a-holes. And I was like, I did not know that. So they look much cuter than they actually are. Pro tip. Pro tips, keep your pets away from Blue Jays. We have an Indians sticker. Hey, Carl Ustremski. Odd he's not on my list, but I'm going to set him off to the side anyways. That's pretty cool. Ken Griffey. Not to be confused with Ken Griffey Jr., I was thinking about it for a second. I'm like, no, Ken Griffey Jr. rookies are in the 90s. And I was like, huh. I was like, hold up. My brain was like spinning. You know when you like load a page in Google Chrome and it's just your little cursor spinning? That's what actually just happened to me. All right, next pack here. We have a Dodgers hat sticker. Another Pete Rose here. That's cool. Pull him off to the side. So we've had two Pete Roses, one Tony Gwynn, and one Nolan Ryan, as well as these two Ricky Hendersons. Again, not the base, but still pretty cool. I like that picture. I personally like it a lot. Not sure on the value on it, but I think it looks really sweet. Hey, look, Ryan Sandberg here. Rookie. Nice. For the Cubs. Card number 507. Very nice. Interesting that they don't have like the little RC stamp on them. I'm wondering if it's because it's FLIR and not tops. There's also no gum, no ancient fossilized gum for me to chew on here. I was going to, Bossman, I think at first thought there were gum in these packs. And I was joking that I'd pretend to eat it on camera, but there's not even any gum here for me to pretend to eat, which I'd probably just break all my teeth. I would think it'd be the equivalent of chewing on a marble that had poison in it. Like, not only would I hurt myself, I'm pretty sure I'd also probably get some kind of disease from eating gum that was this old. But I was gonna, I was gonna meme it into existence. Not gonna do it for real, but I was gonna pretend. But now instead I just have Pokemon cereal to eat, which doesn't look very good. Like, I like that it has the, I'll be checking it out later. Uh, there's supposedly packs of promos in there, promo cards for Pokemon. The box itself doesn't say, but based on the picture of the boxes online that have the promos, I'm pretty sure I got the right one. But they look like Lucky Charms mixed with Fruity Pebbles. So I'm a little concerned. At least the marshmallows will be cute. They're like little Pikachu-shaped marshmallows. But I'm a little nervous, because I feel like anytime there's like some kind of specialty cereal that's like cartoon-themed or like TV movie show-themed, uh, they usually don't taste very good. It's just like food coloring and sugar. Which is what I expect it to be, but hopefully it's good tasting food coloring and sugar. Goose Gossage, I've heard of him. Hey, Robin Yao, that's cool. Yes, he was on the list. I was like, he better be on the list. I keep recognizing people that aren't on the list. That's cool for the Brewers. It's a nice picture as well. 
Looks like maybe a teensy bit off centered to the right, but otherwise pretty nice there on the front. And I think probably the nicest back we've seen as well. Just a slightly offside, but I don't know if that would affect PSA. I know, of course, Beckett has the subgrades. But I don't know if PSA, like, it matters. Like, maybe if it's slightly off-centered, but, you know, good corners and surface, maybe it wouldn't get dinged. It could still be a 10. Although I know sometimes people ask me, Allie, what do you think this is a grade? I'd be like, I honestly have no clue. Like, Boss Man's the one that sends stuff off on occasion. I just buy PSA 10 Pokemon cards because I just like it being like, oh, I have this forever mint Pokemon card. But, like, I don't really know what the difference is between, like, a 9 and a 10, aside from that's what PSA said. Of course, with the Beckett, the subgrades, you can tell. But for me, to my eye, uh, that's not something I'm good at. Unless it's like, if it has like a rounded corner or something, be like, I could tell you that's not a 10. <laughs> but that's about all I got. Eye-wise. Hey, Johnny Bench. Is not on the list, but you know what? I'm going to set it off to the side anyways. He can hang out with Yastrzemski. Reggie Jackson. It's the actual base card, not like the uh, the fancy dual card here. I'm going to set him off to the side too. Whatever. Why not? What, what's the worst thing that can happen? I stick it back on top of the base pile. Less stuff for boss men and KD cards to go through. This Francona card on the back is our first little dinged card that we've seen. Little Rangers logo. Old Rangers logo. And it's interesting opening up older cards. We have a Nolan Ryan, although there is like a little smudge up there. The one we saw earlier was nicer, and it looks like maybe that whole pack got a little bit squished. Looks like that one is the worst of Francona. A little tiny bit there. And a little bit there as well. So I'm going to sleeve him up. Definitely going to sleeve him up. But I'm going to not top load him just because, like I said, there is a bit of a soft corner. So let me just scoot everything over. Have our little cute little portrait, the unsleeve, the sleeve, the top loaded, and the different variety of stickers. All right. While I'm here, I'm going to set this behind me. So it looks like there are some packs that aren't 100% minty fresh. Like I said, the box wasn't in the greatest shape. I think perhaps if it's coming from the top left, maybe as we get closer to the bottom to expect some more kind of ding corners, but hopefully not too many cards. Of course, that's always the risk with, you know, something that's not like encased in plastic like I know people will do with that that with Pokemon boxes and actual like magnetics but for boxes but of course this box has been rolling around for almost 40 years makes sense that not everything will be perfect it's unfortunate but hey we have Tom Seaver here he's on our list Steve Rogers got a little Captain America Expos card here <laughs> Mike Schmidt, also on our list, two for one here in this pack. All right, let's get you two sleeved and top loaded. Very cool. But I think I started this train of thought earlier and then got distracted by perhaps that Nolan Ryan. But it's interesting to be opening up a box and there just to be 100% just base. No autos, no relics, no parallels, no photo variations you're chasing. You're just going for the set. Which, they don't do that too much anymore. I mean, yes, you do have, like, Big League and Opening Day, but Big League has inserts and the occasional parallel uh, that's numbered. You, you do get that, that one gold, or last year was orange, I believe, per pack. Opening Day does have, like, a hit every couple boxes or so. And, of course, has inserts, but that's more so you're just collecting the set. But there's not many products like that out there anymore. We have yet to see a Gary Carter card. I would executive decision get that one all sleeved up. We have yet to see one. And it looks like we are almost towards the end of the box. I have now put a dent in the box. Haha. -ha. So this has been very fun. Oh, there's a Cal Ripken on the back. We have an athletics hat sticker. Dave Winfield again.
Hey, Ricky Henderson. There we go. Nice. That one's nicely centered on the front. How's the back look? Back looks pretty cool, too. A little bit, a little bit, I think, towards the right. Could just be an optical illusion, though, because... This isn't particularly, they're not the same size. So maybe it's throwing me off a little bit, but these are some nice looking cards. Just so far that one pack that had a couple dinged cards. And then there's the Cal Ripken on the back. That's some nice centering on the back. The front's a little off, but that one's nice. Card number 70. So very cool. I was a little bit worried when we started off, we went through several packs that had nothing that boss man was looking for. So I was like, uh oh. Looks like the alley magic isn't in full swing, but hey, we're starting to get packs with two per, which is nice. It's very nice, very nice. I keep grabbing more penny sleeves instead of top loaders. But it'd be nice if we could get one of everybody on the list here. We do actually have Cal Ripken, Mike Schmidt, Pete Rose, and George Brett. So we're still missing the Brett for this other pack. You know what? I'll just sort it afterwards. We don't need to do this right now. Let me just keep opening packs. But I want to see how many. I want to put them in order and see how many compared to the list. My little cheat sheet. We have Giant Sticker. Ozzy Smith in the back. I think there's perhaps 10 packs left. There's a Royal sticker. It is quite stormy again here today in Florida. Not snowstormy. Florida is like the only state I think that's escaping any of the horrendous weather. Uh, but it is very, very rainy and has been the past couple days. So hopefully that doesn't affect the upload speed. I already know it's going to take quite some time just because it's a longer video. Hey, there we go. George Brett. Very nice. Card number 108. Blue Jays hat. Raleigh fingers. All right, down to the last eight packs here. Steve Carlton was on the list. Very cool. Nice corners. Very happy to see all but about three of the cards here have had nice corners. Unfortunately, one of them being that Ryan. There have also been a couple that have had those weird surface marks. That first one we saw was pretty bad. I've seen some other ones that have similar, and then a couple that have had like the little marks like this Ryan has. But overall, very nice condition cards. We have a little twin sticker. Robin Yount once more. All right, let's get that Yount sleeved up. I believe there was another Yount. Try and keep them together. Yep, there we go. And of course, we'll do a recap of our sleeved and top loaded cards at the end, which we are almost there. Thank you for bearing with me, everybody, as I've been taking it slow. Uh oh, looks like we have a little bit of a soft corner there. That is a checklist card, though. That is the Phillies logo, right? Yep. 
Didn't realize the Phillies logo used to be brown. Is Dale Murphy on the list? He was not. Frank Viola. Fun fact, Frank Viola Jr. actually, pre-everything going on, used to be a very, very regular customer here. And actually was the gentleman who ended up buying that second box of National Treasures basketball that we had that was sitting around for a while. That did get off opened off camera. Uh, however, nothing to write home about, which was unfortunate. I mean, yeah, Frank Viola Jr. is local to the area, I believe, or not too far away. Another Mariner sticker. Eddie Murray. Here we go. Here's another one. This one is definitely a little off-center to the left. Bossman, when he wrote me the list, he was like, the only name I think you might not recognize would be Eddie Murray. And I was like, no, I recognize him. Because actually during this last pa this past weekend's live stream, uh, we were opening up a lot of Top Series 1 Hobby and Jumbos, and we came across one of his inserts and I accidentally said Eddie Murphy. And now I'm permanently embarrassed and his name is ingrained into my brain. So I, I would have recognized that card. Would not necessarily have known to pull it out. Uh, but I would have been like, oh, Eddie, Eddie Murray. Yes, I remember. I remember getting flashbacks to embarrassing myself. Live. Ooh, we just had a big order come through for something. I'll have to check that out. Very interesting. I do have the little notifications on the desktop. Because uh, I am, when you see me... I know a lot of you guys have asked before as well, Ali, what do you look off to the side for? Oh, that's where the monitor is. Because right in front of me, I have the camera, ring light, microphone, both cameras, actually. And it's just on, this is a little six-foot, like, card table. Uh, so there's not too much space behind me. Like, there's the wall. And even if we mounted the, the monitor on the wall, we have, like, the little foam thing. So there's not too much of, like, weird echo reverb going on. Uh, so we do have the monitor off to the side. So if you guys are ever like, Ali, what are you looking at? I'm looking to make sure we're having quality openings here. Cardinal sticker. Oh, there's a card. There was a card behind there. All right, down to the last three packs. You guys only get to watch me destroy three more 1983 Fleer baseball packs. Little Astros hat. Odd that it seems like sometimes the first card in the pack is just upside down. We have Joe Necro. That's not Phil Necro. Hey, there we have a Gary Carter. Very cool. Ever since I saw him on the box, I'm like, I want to find one, and we hadn't. They're right here close to the end. Like I said, he's not on Boss Man's list, but I'm going to sleeve him up because I think he's cool. And depending on price, I can try and get that for my mom. She has a lot of 90s Expos cards, which actually, some of you guys in the care packages that you sent me as well have sent my mom Expos cards, which she's always very appreciative. And she's had a lot from her personal collecting when she was, uh, well, unfortunately, when she was younger, younger, she had a lot of stuff, and then there was a house flood, because uh, her room was in the basement up in Canada, and there was a flood, and she lost a lot of her stuff there, but she does still have a lot of 90s stuff. Unfortunately, not the correct Marvel Masterpiece sets from the 90s, because those have been going nuts recently. The early, yeah, if you guys were not aware on, like, Marvel cards, early 90s, like, 90, 91, 92, 93, even, it's kind of spreading off into. Uh, if you guys have sealed wax of that stuff, you should list it on eBay. That stuff is going insane. Anyways, last pack here. Let's see if we can get some more cards for Boss Man's list. Boss Man and Katie cards. Again, go check out their Facebook page in the description. Do have Dodgers sticker for our last sticker. All right, looks like this pack is just upside down. Some of them first cards upside down. Some of them, they're all upside down. Or maybe I opened the pack upside down. The sticker was the only thing that was upside down. But all right, we have a little flip here. Precursor to modern paninitis where everything is in the opposite. Uh-oh, runaway. Runaway cards. All right, these do, interestingly enough, those are some more that had a little bit of the surface. And we're just going to go read through the pack so I don't because I don't know where we stopped. But, all right, last card here we have Bob Boone for the Angels. That's when they were the California Angels. But that'll do it here for this box. I don't feel right folding that up for recycling like I normally do with opening, so I'm just going to move this right behind me. And I'm going to move over the stack of base as well. And we're going to do our recap here, check out what we got 
And what we did not find, it is possible that I missed some people, uh, but I think I actually did pull out everybody I needed to pull out. I think I did a pretty good job, uh, but I'll slip. Also, there's like the pack, the cards themselves have been a bit dusty. Like I know I talk about like pack dust with that, especially upper deck hockey cards, uh, but Panini will do it too. Uh, not so much tops, but on occasion, but like the pack dust, that's what all this stuff is. Seemed like the cards themselves did have like a grainy texture to them, the heritage feel, uh, comparative to modern cards. If you've never opened up anything like this, like I haven't before. Uh, but we did have this little little picture here. I think we ended up getting two sets. Um, I didn't sleeve up the second Reggie Jackson, but they both did come in the same pack. We saw two packs of these, but Speed and Power, Superstar Special. I just like that, so that's why I got those top loaded. And I sleeved up that other Ricky Henderson. Other sleeve cards here. I did sleeve up that Gary Carter because it's cool. And there was that Nolan Ryan, unfortunately, with the little, little ink or whatever that's up there. And a little bit of a soft corner, I believe, down here. Or perhaps left or right, not 100% certain. It's a bit difficult to tell in sleeves. Non-sleeve cards that I sent off to the side just because I thought Bossman might like them. We had Reggie Jackson, Johnny Bench, and Carl Yastrzemski. And then we had 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 names on the list. How many unique names did we get here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So actually... Who did we miss? I believe it was the Wade Boggs. No, hold on. Who were we missing here? Well, we did have Cal Ripken. Also Mike Schmidt. We saw him, I believe. Mike Schmidt. Pete Rose. We had the two Pete Roses. And then George Brett. So that does it for the overflow section. And then we did not have the Phil Necro. But we did have Nolan Ryan. We actually had two Ryans. And then we had a Henderson. Wade Boggs, were you, perhaps? Looks like Wade Boggs was the other one that we're missing. Because we also had Ryan Sandberg, Tony Gwynn, Robin Yount. We did see two. Seaver, Carlton, and Murray. So out of the whole box, the only two cards that we did not pull that were most notable were the Phil Necro and the Wade Boggs rookie, but we did get the Sandberg rookie, Tony Gwynn rookie, and a couple of doubles. We did, like I said, get the two Ryans. One's not top-loaded because of the corner. We also had the two Robin Younts and those two Pete Roses. So I'm just going to show you guys these off, and then that will do it for here for this video. Very cool, these old cards. And if Bossman and Katie cards are sending these off to PSA, uh, I still do have to make my own little personal segment. I was supposed to send some Wooper cards to PSA based on reaching a light goal for an older Pokemon opening. I have not done that yet, but if they are sending any of these off to get graded, I'll try and mooch on to their, their send-in, make you guys a little special so you can see what that process is like. But that'll do it here for this 83 baseball opening. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to go on ahead and hit that like button. I know I was asking you guys on your opinions on the cards, the stickers throughout the video. So if you have any comments and answers to my questions for me, definitely go on ahead and leave those down below in the comment section. And if you're not yet part of the Titan Cards family, we'd love to have you with us. Definitely open up a lot of new products. Every time something comes out, we do try to open up at least one box. If we do get allocated enough product, we'll open up a case or two. Uh, we do have live personal breaks, just live openings in general for new products, lots of product previews. So if you're interested in seeing any of that, not just baseball, but football, basketball, soccer, Formula One in the future, do have non-sports like Star Wars, Star Trek, Garbage Pail Kids, Game of Thrones, and trading card games, Magic, Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh!, all different kinds of stuff. So if any, any of that is interesting to you and you're not yet subscribed, make sure you go on ahead and hit that little red button for me. That is it for me here. Like I was saying earlier, up next, we do have a 2021 Panini Certified Basketball Hobby Box opening. And then we'll be ending off today's videos with that Pokemon, two McDonald's packs and two cereal boxes opening and taste test. We'll see how that goes. I don't have milk or anything, so I'm just gonna be trying out some dry cereal. Wish me luck. Uh, but yeah, that'll do it here. Before I go, do have to give a big shout out to all of our channel members. Thank you so much, you guys, for your above and beyond support of the channel. We really, truly do appreciate it. Do have five Black Label fans, and in Bounty Hunter Breaks, Epicenter Gaming, Stephen Olivo, and Stephen Bly. And then seven Gemmin fans, Anthony Basileo, Devon, Dusty Archuleta, Geriatric Geek, Jake Ryan OC, Joe Howe, and Michael C. Thank you so much to all of our channel members, and all channel members do have their name shown on screen at the end of every video. But that is it for me here today. That is it for me today on baseball as well. I hope you all enjoyed it, this blast from the past 83 Fleer baseball opening. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. Take care, stay safe, and hope to catch you 
the next video. Bye!